Why don't AMD GPUs play hide and seek? Because no matter where the 6800 hides, the 6800 XT always seems to find it, doing more teraflops. And now, let us look at 11 critical differences between the two. Let's compare the differences between the Radeon RX 6800 versus RX 6800 XT graphic cards. Difference one, the most significant difference between the two processors is computing power. The RX 6800 XT has a higher raw computational power of 20.74 teraflops compared to the RX 6800's 16.17 teraflops, providing more processing capabilities to handle tasks such as gaming, rendering, and other GPU-intensive jobs. Difference two is related to the stream processors, where the RX 6800 XT has 4608, while the RX 6800 has a fewer number at 3840. More stream processors mean the ability to process more data simultaneously, leading to quicker rendering times and smoother gameplay in demanding games. Difference three is about power consumption. The RX 6800 XT uses 300W50W more than the RX 6800's 250W. The increase in power draw can be attributed to its increased performance. Difference four, the RX 6800 XT is priced higher than the RX 6800. The price variance can depend on factors such as brand, market conditions, and demand. But generally, the XT version is more expensive due to its performance advantage. Difference 5 pertains to the boost clock speed. The 6800 XT boasts a higher boost clock speed of up to 2250 MHz than the 6800's 2105 MHz, leading to faster data processing and higher frame rates in games. Difference 6, the base clock speeds of the two cards also differ. The RX 6800 XT comes with a base clock of 1825 MHz, while the RX 6800 runs at 1700 MHz base clock speed. Difference 7, in terms of game clock, the 6800 XT beats the 6800. The 6800 XT operates at a higher game clock speed of up to 2015 MHz, compared to the 6800's 1815 MHz. Difference 8 concerns the Infinity Cache. Both cards come with a sizable 128 MB Infinity Cache, but the 6800 XT can utilize this better due to its increased stream processors and higher clock speeds. Difference 9 looks at the cooling system. While both cards use similar cooling mechanisms, the increased power of the 6800 XT may require more efficient or aggressive cooling strategies to keep temperatures at optimal levels. Difference 10 involves ray tracing, where both cards perform admirably, but the 6800 XT can handle more ray tracing tasks at once due to its higher stream processors count. Difference 11 finally is about market availability. While both cards may sell out quickly due to high demand, the higher priced 6800 XT might be slightly easier to find in stock due to its higher price tag, making it less attainable for the average consumer.